guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to be doing a eyeshadow declutter. I have started to kind of go through my makeup and really reorganize it. Ever since doing these videos, I feel like I needed a new system to be able to like have luxury drugstore. I kind of decided with these eyeshadow palettes, I wanted to film it. Um, I've seen some other YouTube, you know, channels do this, and I really liked the idea for so many reasons. Some palettes, if they're still in good, good condition and are not too old, I'm going to donate, give to friends and family type idea, and then there's some that I may have to throw out. Um, I don't even know. Like, I haven't seen some of this stuff in a while so we are gonna have some fun with it so anyways I've been really excited about this because I do kind of want to know what I have and be able to utilize more of it and show you guys what I really loved and what was not you know worth keeping and holding on to okay so let's start with Morphe because I am a diehard Morphe eyeshadow fan the 35d and as I'm going along I'm going to make sure that these are still able to be sold if it's not available for sale I'm probably going to think harder about whether I really need it or not so this palette you can actually no longer get of this palette quality is great pigmented blendable um, and they have the really beautiful purples and the darker smokier shades that being said it's definitely not like my favorite okay, I'm gonna keep this in a maybe pile because I do love my morphe palettes this may be one of the palettes that I kind of hold on to for my own personal use but you can no longer get the 35d then you have the let's hope they have this one 35t because I love this palette um, this one is more um, like neutral colors. I love that palette. It is a go-to for me and for when I'm working on clients. There's gonna be some people out there that are gonna be judging me right now. I know this is a lot of makeup. I also, you have to remember, I work on clients. I, now that I'm doing YouTube, definitely I'm gonna be, you know, holding onto these for, you know, looks and tutorials, for dupe colors, for references, all of that um, is important. I need, a variety of colors and shades and and all of that for my clients but also for this part of my job as well so this morphe 35t these might not be um, available anymore i'm gonna hold on to this one because i love it so much for personal use so that means that I'm actually going to say goodbye to this Morphe 35D, that purple one. That was really sad and it was only one palette so far. Okay, next we have the Jaclyn Hill. This palette's been through a lot, man. I travel with it. I need to be organized so everything is in a precious place that it cannot be ruined. So please don't judge me for the, you know, the quality of this palette. It probably doesn't look as bad on camera. But this is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I will definitely be keeping this because it is one of my favorite Morphe palettes. So this is 39S. It is called Such a Gem. It's an artistry palette. It is the big, large one. It has, um, I still... I think I've maybe used this once. Oh my gosh, I should do a video with this because it is, I think, like relatively new in, in, within the last year or two. And there's so many different options. There's really fun colors. Oh, definitely going to be keeping this because I have barely even used it. It's another good Morphe palette. Definitely want to do a video with this one. If you guys would like that, comment below, give it a thumbs up. Take a look at my Coastal Scents palettes. I have a lot of these. These were some of the first palettes that I got that I used for clients. Um, they have a lot of shades. This palette is 88 eyeshadows in it. So this one's the Warm Palette by Coastal Scents. Um, these shadows are decent quality. I would say um, they're not the best quality that I've seen. Kind of maybe chalkier in texture. Is this the same palette? That's embarrassing. Why do I have two of these? Okay, well definitely one of them is going. This is the Ultra Shimmer, and I believe it's all metallics. This one I know I wasn't overly impressed with. Um, so the 28 Neutral Palette, this is by Coastal Sense as well. This is um, actually an okay palette. I found the quality of this one um, was 
actually not bad. So between the two of these, I would rather keep this one here. So I'm going to actually get rid of the Coastal Scents Warm Palette as well. Um, look at me, I'm actually getting rid of some stuff. Smoky Palette. And so, I mean, it has some smoky colors in there, but it has a lot of bright colors. I didn't really like the layout of the colors and the color selection for this, so I barely use that and I'm not a huge fan. It's like not the worst, but it's not the best. Too Faced. So now we have, I love Too Faced eyeshadow. Oh my goodness, love it. I, oh, this palette was like my very, very first palette that I absolutely loved. I actually hit pan on like three of the shadows and I absolutely loved it. It was the Too Faced Natural Eye. Can you even get this? I don't know. They still have this palette, but when I look at it on here, they've changed a few of the colors. This brings back so many memories. I, this was like my palette when I was in high school. I loved this. Um, and the quality is good. Like this nice matte brown right there. Like really good pigmentation. They have gorgeous, gorgeous shimmers i'm gonna keep this because like i have to for memory's sake I have the uh, Too faced summer eye this one i'm going to part ways with because i i rarely have ever gravitated towards it even when i first got it it wasn't my favorite and i do have quite a bit of Too faced then I have the Too Faced, um, the Return of Sexy. Man, this palette was butchered in my drawers. This one I didn't really like anyways. I didn't really like the color selection. Quality was fine, but not the color selection. Then I have my Too Faced chocolate bar. The lids come off. Oh my goodness, that's like my kind of gold. I love gold and browns. Mm. So that's a definite keep. Then I have the Too Faced Chocolate Gold, which I haven't used as much as I should because I do really love the colors in here. The quality's good. Um, like, Rich Girl in this palette. Oh, you see that right there? Mm, so good, love it, keeping it. Then there's the Too Faced Sweet Peach. Mm, I love the smell of this Too Faced product. I, I just love Too Faced for so many reasons. Definitely another really gorgeous. I love, I love this palette and I need to again use it more. Like maybe we'll do some throwbacks and like, you know, try out some products that we haven't seen kind of shop my stash. And this is one that we will definitely do because I love it. Love, love, love. Smashbox, I have two palettes here. This one here is the Smashbox Shades of Fame eye palette. Can you even get this still? I know, I don't know. Really love the pigmentation, but just these colors are not ones I gravitate towards. This palette I never use, so we're going to donate. Um, then I have the Smashbox Photo Op Mega Palette. I actually really, really like this palette. I don't know if you can still get it, but I really like the quality of Smashbox eyeshadows. Let's just see. I'm going to put it in the maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in the maybe because I might keep it just for my my sake. I have Tarte. I have this um, Rainforest of the Sea. This is really, really pretty. It's gorgeous. I do really, really love that. And I do like the quality of Tarte eyeshadows as well. And then you have this one here, which be you naturally, it says. This I have as well. This is kind of old. And I really like never used it a lot. I don't know. Maybe I should get rid of it. I'm gonna pass on this one because it's it's old. Now we have, um, let's do Natasha Denona. We're keeping them all. Um, I have the Lila palette. I really like this palette. It has some darker shades. We love it. Quality is definitely there. So gorgeous. Definitely keeping that. Then we have the Love Palette. I just got this. I do really, really love it. Love this palette for quality and everything. It's just not one I would use all the time, but it's definitely like Natasha Denona is so amazing. She is very talented and her palettes are so nice. If you wanna spend a little bit of money on a palette because they are not cheap, go and get Natasha Denona because her, her eyeshadows are so pretty. Um, and I, I would say 
Now I love the Lila one, but this one here, oh my gosh, the mini glam. I love these colors, so we're keeping that as well. I have La Rock. I have the Pro, which I will never get rid of. I absolutely love this palette. And then I have the Lorac Gold. So pretty and up my alley all the way. You see that? Love it. So I'm keeping those. Let's do Urban Decay. So from Naked, just the Naked alone. Oh my goodness. I don't have them all, but pretty close. Um, I have the original, which I would say is probably my favorite. I absolutely love it. I hit pan on Sin and Half Baked because they are abs my absolute favorites. Um, Half Baked is probably my favorite gold. Like, look at that. It's so, like, it's just a beautiful shade of gold. I love the colors. So we're keeping Naked 2. Absolutely love as well, which they had um, half-baked in this one. And I hit pan on that one, too. This is rare, guys. I hit this, I hit pan on this shade in both palettes. And then I just really love how they have the smokier options up in, oh, well, that's cool. One of my colors, one of my shades just fell out, but that's okay. I have the cherry one, which is one I don't use as often, but I do have to say, looking at this right now, man, do I ever want to play with this. It, I love it. It has those beautiful, like, um, peachy colors. Like, so pretty. And then it has, like, those nice, deep, kind of, like, burgundy colors like look at the pigmentation there so keeping that and then the honey palette I just got this for Christmas um, it is literally all golds pretty much and like browns and I love it I do have to say I really wish they put half baked in this because like the golds they have in this palette are either like orange or yellow and so they're definitely not my favorite golds by naked but like still gorgeous like those three right there right here so so pretty I just love the gold brown combo that is my go-to combo for eyes and I absolutely love so those are for sure keep I have a lot of makeup revolution of these pro palettes which the pro palettes seem to have much better quality i have this purple it is actually such a pretty palette it has some really beautiful like bright purples i haven't played around with these enough to even decide whether or not i should keep them so it's going to be kind of like i'll try these out more um so i'm going to definitely keep the pro hd i have the these are all the amplified 35 palettes i have dynamic lux lux i used in the makeup revolution look and i really loved it I have the Exhilarate, which is, I think, no, it's not all metallics, but it is more like fun colors. And then I have the Emily palette, the Wants. So I'll be keeping all of those. And then we have a few here that I actually um, know already that they are not available anymore there's the one that is by petra um it was like a collab the colors are absolutely gorgeous but i'm actually going to part ways i mean that is pretty but it's not like i don't know i already am keeping what four palettes already so i'm going to donate or there's nothing wrong with it it's just not really what i'm looking for then i have this one that is the uh, opulent jewel collection again absolutely gorgeous but you can't get it anymore i'm gonna say maybe I'm gonna say maybe. This one here, it's Love Conquers All. It's a makeup pigment and highlighter palette. I didn't understand this palette. So it has like a highlight in the center, which is actually okay. I have a lot of Makeup Revolution highlights though, and I just hate, hate, hate the setup of this palette. I'm getting rid of it. Um, then I have the Makeup Revolution. These two, the Reloaded palettes, the Basic Mattes and the Visionary, I have barely even played around, so we're keeping those to play around with more. 
And then I have the Emily Wants palette, or Needs palette, sorry. I'm going to play around with it more and decide. I'm not a huge fan of the way it's set up, to be honest with you, but the quality seems to be okay, so we will play around more with that. And then the last one by Makeup Revolution is the Unicorns Unite. I don't even know if you can get this anymore. And I don't know, I just wasn't a huge fan of the color selection. It just seems like blah, not really down for that. The quality, I remember, wasn't my favorite. So I'm gonna pass. I have Sephora palettes. We have two Sephora palettes. I do like Sephora eyeshadow, but I'm getting rid of this one because it was like probably the very first eyeshadow palette I ever got. And so it's old and I think it needs to be disposed of. But also I just feel like it was like step by step, what do you do? And I don't really need that anymore. Um, and then we have this one here, which is the Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Winter Wonderland Collection. This is old as well. Oh. And it, I barely used it. That's so sad. I should probably get rid of it though because I've had it for so long. Sephora shadows are like, wow. I do really love them. I think I need to get back into Sephora products because those face trios that I recently got as well were impressive, but that palette I've rarely used. It's old and I should probably get rid of. Um, okay, so moving on, we have a Stila palette here. Again, Stila has really good quality shadows. Three of these actually fell out and broke, um, probably because I was rough on my palettes. Um, I've had this for a while. I don't have another Stila palette. I like their um, liquid eyeshadows, and I think I need to get um, a, like a newer product from them because I remember really loving the quality. I just I'm not impressed with the shades in there. So moving on, we have a Kat Von D. This is the Spellbinding Eyeshadow Book. I think I've had this for a while too, and I don't even know if I used it. How sweet. Oh my gosh, look at how brand new that looks. That makes me really embarrassed and kind of sad because that's like makeup abuse. 2013, oh my gosh. And I do really like Kat Von D eyeshadow. They're really, really pigmented and so, 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 so great. I don't want to get rid of this. You know what? I think I just need to try out her newer stuff. I don't think it would be, you know, responsible for me to use this. I'm gonna dispose of that. And then we have two palettes from NYX. We have the Dark Shadows. Is the Crimson Amulet collection inspired by the movie Dark Shadows. It's like a book, but I was never really a fan of the setup. I'm just going to dispose of it. I've had it for too long and I don't really like it. The NYX Butt Naked Eyes. This one is okay. It's not my favorite. Shadows are extremely, extremely creamy. Um, like let's swatch this black here to show you the pigmentation. It's like okay. Um, it's like definitely not like let me show you the Tati Beauty Black. Right beside it. You see the difference? This one's here is Tati Beauty, and this one here is the NYX. So you can tell the difference in quality for sure. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of it because I was actually kind of disappointed in that right there. And then also that will just encourage me to get some newer NYX stuff because I've had a lot of NYX products that I was impressed with. So, and I don't even know if you can get that. I don't know how old it is. Then I have my Huda Beauty palettes. I have my Nude palette, the new Nude eyeshadow palette. Oh my goodness, this is possibly one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes that I own. I absolutely love the shades. They have a gorgeous um, color selection, texture selection. Love it, it comes with that concealer base in there that helps lay down your glitters, which is really nice. The Mercury Retrograde is absolutely stunning, was my monthly favorite in January. We're making progress, guys, but I think I need to speed it up. 
We have Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream. This is the only Dominique Cosmetics palette that I own. I've played with it a little bit recently and really loved the quality of shadows. They were pigmented, creamy, um, blendable, and I love the color selection. And I'm interested in kind of playing around with more Dominique Cosmetics. I've heard good things, so we're keeping. Um, then we have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk was my favorite in this past month. Absolutely love. You couldn't get this out of my hand if you wanted to. Then we have the <laughs> Tati Beauty. This is probably right now my favorite eyeshadow palette. I just like... Mm. Guys, we're going to do it. Use your finger, There's, it's self-adhering. It's so like even in pigmentation and when you lay it down, it's so nice. So obviously keeping this one. Then we have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina. I'm actually wearing this palette today. Other than that glitter I just put on, I really like this one. Love the colors. Um, it Cosmetics, um, what's it called? Naturally Pretty, and I really like this palette. It has mattes, only mattes, and then it's supposed to have this like transforming pearl that you lay over top of a matte, and it makes it kind of a metallic. I didn't really like that idea, but I liked the transforming pearl for like an inner corner highlight. It was like kind of, it wasn't very metallic-y. It was kind of just brightening. Um, but I really liked, I just really like the quality of these shadows and it's a really good matte palette. Okay, moving on. We have Makeup Forever. You can no longer get this, but I will forever keep this. It is a like an artistry palette. It is expensive. It has three layers and it is one of the best palettes for working on clients. It has a very nice natural kind of um, neutral type layer, has the darker smoky layer, and it has the bright layer. It is such a beautiful palette and I recommend going to check out Makeup Forever as well, even though you can't get this palette because their palettes are gorgeous. I've worked with other ones they have, unfortunately. I only have this one and I'm really embarrassed guys when I was putting all of this stuff in a box I found this palette it's literally still in its box and you can't even get it anymore I'm really embarrassed I'm not gonna open it uh, well I'll show you I'm not going to swatch it though because see how gorgeous that is like you know, for a couple reasons one because you can't get it anymore two because it's brand new um, and three, because I want to be generous, I'm going to put this away for a giveaway. And this is something I wanted to talk about as well. I have a few products set aside for a giveaway, which is going to be coming up soon. So make sure you guys are subscribed because that is going to come up soon. You want to be notified for my videos. So make sure you ring the bell and it is obviously not expired. I would never give away anything that's expired or old. It's brand new. So yeah, just an update. There's a giveaway coming up. So subscribe and ring the bell or you're going to miss out. Then I have a pur, pure, is it pure? Is it pur? I don't know. What, it, what are you? I don't know. It is, I have never used it, um, but it is the festival one and I'm really excited to try that out because like it looks super fun. I have a crown pro palette, which I've only swatched really nice warm colors so again excited to try i have an um and actually i'm pretty sure all of these came in a boxy charm box which i don't don't get mad at me i know i did this again i'm gonna do um february and march's box this month and then i will be on track and i will do them monthly um this one i got in a boxy charm as well i have the almar cosmetics um, and this is really pretty. I haven't used it. So we will see if, it, if I like that or not and if we're going to keep those. So we'll keep them for now. Um, ColourPop, um, we have the So Jaded I really like, the Truly Madly Deeply I really like, Blush Crush I really like, Going Coconuts I really like. Golden State of Mind is really pretty. It's literally all metallics and it's a really nice palette that I like to pull out when I'm looking for a good 
uh, metallic to kind of add to my eyeshadow other than my Tati glitters. I have the Fenty um, snap shadows in two, four, and six. I think those, they are new. They were, they were good, good quality. Wasn't like extremely happy with the color selection, but the quality was really good. Pat McGrath, the Sublime um, eyeshadow palette. Uh, way too expensive to get rid of and way too good. I absolutely loved this. So we're keeping all of these. Yeah, I know, I have a problem. There's no way in this world I'd ever use all of these shadows, but whatever. Again, remember, I'm not just doing my makeup. I'm doing other people's too. And, and, oh, I have this stuff. Okay, let's just go through this quick. Um, two sleek makeup palettes, which I haven't been able to really try them out. I haven't really given them much of a chance. Like, I, I don't really use them. So before I decide whether or not to keep them, I'm going to use those a little bit more. I also have, these are my MAC quads. Um, I'm going to keep them all. This one is Green Lux. I'm actually going to get rid of this one. I hate eyeshadows that have those skinny lines of shadow long rectangles they're not wide enough you end up dipping into another one and I don't like that plus I don't really like the greens this is old no it's old this one is quo no it's old not quad that I can put individuals in and I have this basket here of individual shadows that I'm going to deep pot and put in Z palette. So I could use this to put my favorites in for travel. I have these Maybelline Tattoo, or no, iStudio, these little guys. This one's broken. Green with Envy. I don't like green eyeshadow. It's okay if it comes in a palette with like other colors. It's all right, but I don't really love it. So out of the ones that I had, I'm gonna keep Autumn Dream, um, Copper Chic, Natural Shop, Chanel pro uh, Little Mini Palette. It's the quad called uh, Delicacy. I think that's what it's called. I don't know, but it's really pretty. So I'm always thinking that it's very expensive. Oh, it almost fell on the ground, guys. Very expensive, so we're not gonna get rid of that. So I think we did pretty good, guys. Like, I'm going to show you, and all the stuff in my maybe is going, because look at how much stuff I still have. So I have this big box full, as I'm probably breaking them, hopefully not, full of eyeshadow. So I think I did a good job. I'm going to let my friends and family go through this, and the rest I will donate as long as it's there were some in there that I'm going to be throwing out that are old. But other than that, I did think I did a pretty good job. I mean, I have a lot of eyeshadow still, but that being said, it will get used for videos, for clients, um, for references, dupes, etc. So um, yeah, thanks so much for sticking around. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you'd like to see more declutters, purges, um, you know, kind of cleanses, then comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, ring the bell, all that jazz. Have a great day and stay tuned for the giveaway. Thanks so much. Bye.